Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. So it turned into a very long video yesterday with two full solves of two pretty tricky puzzles. So I'm hoping for a break today. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Um, this puzzle has, is an Anzac collaboration between uh, Australian Bremster and New Zealander Randall. And they have sent in a puzzle called Arsenic on Rye, which is a lethal combination, maybe as they are. Um, I guess that is the sandwich that I never order in the deli. And I don't know why. Oh, it's a, obviously this is a sandwich Sudoku, hence arsenic and killer. I get it. It's a killer sandwich, so arsenic on right. It takes me a while sometimes. It really does. Um, okay, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. Now, don't forget on the channel, um, we have been posting some interesting stuff lately. Uh, we The stream on Monday... Um, of 500k puzzles from our app that Simon and I have been solving alternately and uh, in fact we'll be doing that again on Saturday evening so if you're available at what is 10 p.m. UK time so that's 11 p.m. Central European or 6 p.m. New York time or I guess 3 p.m. California time that's when we will be live streaming more more puzzles from the 500k app. You can always get the app by uh, follow the link under the, in the description field to all of our app information and get the Cracking the Cryptic app and you can just download the 23 puzzles uh, supplied by some of the world's best constructors for our celebrations of reaching 500,000 subscribers. We are still gobsmacked by that. Um, also on Patreon, a collaborative solve. Simon and I had a go at getting together to solve uh, Jabberwocky by Dad Jokes. And it's a brilliant puzzle. It's really, well, I mean, it's three different puzzles, but it's really entertaining that he's created them in the same grid. Um, good fun, that. And do do have a look at that if you're with us on Patreon. Uh, the links to find Patreon and Discord and the apps and the merchandise are all under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle. And the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. We have some killer cages in which digits cannot repeat and they have to add up to the number given. And we have some sandwich sums. So in this column, wherever the 1 and the 9 are, the digits between them add up to exactly 26. That's what this clue means. And in this row, the digits between the 1 and the 9 add up to 12. So we've only got a few killer cages and a very few sandwich clues. Um, in our sandwich Sudoku app, you normally get every single possible sandwich around the grid. Um, and in regular killer Sudoku puzzles, on daily killer Sudoku or in newspapers, you get the whole grid covered in killer cages. But here, just bits of it. So do give it a try. I am going to restart my clock and let's get cracking. So, oh, ooh, I was looking at these numbers. 26 tells me that there isn't a one or a nine here, but that's not so interesting. Let's start with this seven cage, that's better. That has to be made up of one, two, four. And it's in a column with a 14 clue. Okay, so one of the things I can deduce straight away is that the nine in this column is not below the one, because that's the only place it could go. The furthest separation it could get from the one would put the one here, and then the two cells in between would only add up to six, they'd be two and four. So the nine is above the one, and it's not here. Now, I like to mark cells that can't contain one or nine green. Ah, right, this is green, and that's because it can't be a nine for its cage, and it can't be a one for its column, because the one's down here. This can't be the nine we worked out, and it can't be the one, and I think think this one can't be the nine because yeah that's interesting at a minimum you'd have four cells there to add up to 14 that would have to be two three four and six but of course two and four have been used down here so that's not possible now i'm wondering if nine can be here it would just work for the cage again you couldn't have four cells of of sandwich because that would include two and four. Can you do it with three? 
the minimum digits you could have are 3, 5 and 6 and they do add up to 14 so yes the 9 can be here now I'm going to flip this around and say can the 9 be here and it can but then that forces the 1 down to here so if the 9 is here the 1 is here and if the 9 is here the 1 is here so that's not a 1 and I can even paint it green and I've got a lovely alternating pattern down this column but that's not really what I want I know the 1 is in one of those cells and the 9 is in one of those the, the, by the way I worked out the way the 9 could be here is with the 1 here then these are 2 and 4 and that has to be an 8 but it doesn't tell me which is which there's obviously a 1 in one of these cells and this is because an 8 always needs a 1 in 3 cells and we've worked out it's not here now ah does the okay the 22 cage has a 9 in it somewhere I'm not going to mark that I'm more interested in rows and columns than where 9 goes in a box at the moment um, now does that mean that the 9 in this row has to be in one of those well no you could have a 9 here but oh hang on you can't have a 4 cell 12 sum so the 9 right this is too far away even if the 1 was here in this row yeah this is right the 9 could be no further away from it than here um, I'm going to try and explain that if you had a four cell sandwich adding up to 12 the minimum digits you could put in the sandwich which don't include the one remember are two three four and five so the first four digits add up to 14 so the sandwich is either two or three cells long it's going to include this green and it can't go further than here so this is the last place the nine can go um, I'm going to put 9 as a possibility into those two cells. I'm going to paint these ones green. And now the 9 in the 22 cage has to be here. And I'm going to go with red because I've got used to it for the 1s and 9s. Some people believe that this is bad for colorblind people who can be red-green colorblind, it's called. But actual colorblind people have told us they don't have a problem with our red and green distinctions. So I'm going with that. Now, in this column... 26 is at least four cells ah but the cells not in the sandwich must be at least two cells right i know this because of a, a subsidiary secret that you may not know that the highest possible sandwich sum in a in a sudoku like this is 35 and that's because the numbers from two to eight add up to 35. so we take nine off to get to 26 and that means the nine are not in the sandwich they're outside the sandwich cells we sometimes call them outies and it can't just be one cell because we've obviously already had nine in this column so that one is going to need at least one more sandwich cell here and the one ah oh, the one is going to be in one of these two cells but we also know in box nine that there must be a one in the eight cage so we can place it now it's there and this is green and now these outies are three cells adding up to nine that must be two three four i think that means this can't be a one three four cage yes if this was a one three four cage you'd have four cells all containing two three and four that's not possible so that is a one two five cage those are a three four pair that is a two it's the first non-sandwich digit we get in the grid ah this nine is looking across here so this isn't nine right so we're away now nine in column three is there that puts the one down here this is a two four pair needing an eight to make up the sandwich these are red oh i never got around to explaining why i knew nine wasn't there and that's because the fur the, the biggest sandwich you could have are these two digits which would be the other two digits in the eight box that don't include one so they'd add up to seven so the nine can't be there that's in fact green right anyway now back oh 25 row we've got the one those are green by the way ah so the sev yes so the 17 is in the sandwich plus eight which are going to have to come in these cells the nine is going to be here those are going to add up to eight there are five three therefore 
plus the 17, and these two will add up to 8. No, 35 minus 25 is 10, not including 3. They're either 2, 8, or 4, 6. 6, 7, and 8 still to go in box 9. They're all green. Uh, there must be a 7 in those. That's not really useful. The 15 cage could easily be these three cells. The 15 sandwich could easily be the cage. No, it can't. Look, this is brilliant, actually. If this was a 9 for column 5, the sandwich would have to be below it. It would be those three cells which add up to 15 and are very tempting to think of them as the sandwich, but that can't be, because if that's a 9, the other end of the sandwich, the other crust, would be a 1, and that would clash with that. So this is not a 9, and now we get more information for row 3. That's the 9. Um, this can't all be in the sandwich, or that would be more, so... Some of this is in the sandwich. There is a 9 or a 1 in that box, in that cage. That's weird. I can't mark that, but it's true. Right. Now, four cells was too long for a 12 sum, so we get the one here. That's red. That's not a one and is green. That doesn't... Uh, the one in column one is in one of those two cells. Can't be in the 11 cage. And we've got a 13 sandwich. Nine in box one is up here somewhere. So those are green. Probably a lot of greening I could do that I haven't noticed. Yes, I can do those at least. Um, cells like this, that sees both a 1 and a 9, so that's green. And you never know, it might be helpful. Oh, this is in the 10 sandwich because you can't fit the two reds into there. So there's a 9 in one of those two cells to be the left hand crust of that sandwich and a 1 somewhere over here, so there's a 9 up here, and these are green. And now, where's this 13 sum in column 1? Could be those two. Or it could be those two, and it can't be 4... So yes, this is an X-wing on 9, so the 9 is in a corner here, and the 1 can't leave a gap of four cells because the minimum for a four cell sandwich is 14. So either we get one there and nine there and those two add up to 13 or one there and nine there and those two do. The only way those two could add up to 13 and this could add up to eight is with a five there, eight there, two there and that's not possible. So it's not up here the 13 sum, it's down here. Is that right? I just want to check that. The maximum number you can put in an 8 cage like this is 5. And that's the minimum number you could put in a 13 sum. And it would need a 2 here, which is not happening. So that is not a 2 cell sandwich. So the 2 cell sandwich is down here. Yes, I'm comfortable with that deduction. Let's get rid of those pencil marks and put a 9 in up here. And now we'll do a frantic amount of colouring. Simon would obviously approve of this. Um, that cell sees a 1 and a 9. Now, this could add up to 10. Right, that is too far away, but 235 is very plausibly a 3-cell sandwich here. The only way of making up a 3-cell sandwich to 10 is 235, but that could easily happen. Um... Or it's two cells, which might be, probably would be three, seven. So I don't know where the one goes. It's in one of those two. Now, am I back in business on this 15? That's, there's not many. I mean, apart from this 10, which I've just been looking at, there's really only this 15 to go. Now, that makes me think, I bet I'm missing something. Right, yes, 13 here in two cells is either 6 or 8 there, and those two have to add up to 10 as outies. So now we've got a 2-4 pair. This is 7 or 5, which doesn't resolve that. So 
can make this add up to 13. The 14 is done. The 26 is done effectively because these are 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's just the 15 left to work on and then some killer cages. Now, what do we know? One of the 1 or 9 is in the cage. That I know. But I don't know if there's a 1 up here. This can't both be... I don't know. I don't know what to think about quite. I'm going to have to come back to it. I don't I don't think that's the way through at the moment, weirdly. Um, this 22... Oh, 12 there. And 13 in this cage is 25. So these two add up to 10. And this one, therefore, can't be a far... Actually, we know this is 3 or 5 because of that 2, 4 pair. So that's 2 or 4, plus that equals 10. So that's 6 or 8. Now we've got a 6, 7, 8 triple. Uh, this could be a 6, 7 pair with 8 there, 2 there, and 3, 4, 5 here. Or it's an 8, 5 pair with 6 there, 3 there, 4 there, and 2, 7. Oh, they both work. 9's in one of those two cells. Uh, that's not how I was trying to mark that, like that. Right, what about these 11 cages that now can't be 8, 3? Yes, they must be a 4, 7 cage and a 5, 6 cage. Yes, that's true. This can't be a 9-2. I mean, I, I shouldn't have ruled that out before, but the two 9s looking at that say so. So those are using 4, 5, 6, and 7. That can't be a 4. That can't be a 7. We've got 8 there. So these other cells are 1, 2, 3, and 9. This one can't be 9, and this one can't be 2. Um... I don't know. Does that tell us something else? Well, hang on, six, seven, eight, triple, so that's not a six, and that's not a seven. Uh, no, I meant that's not a five, that's right. So this is either four, seven, or five, six. If this was six, seven. Hmm, you could put five, eight there. Although that would make that a 4 and that a 7, so that would be where the 6 went. That's a bit complicated. Um, oh, I've got a 2 looking at that cell. Good old Sudoku. 4 there, 2 there. That's a 2. This needs to make 10, so that's an 8 next to it. That's a 5 to make 13. Right. 5 can't be there, 6 can't be there. 3, 7, and 6 to place in box 7. That is a 3, 6, 7, 8 quadruple. Ah, oh, we have to have a sum of 10. This can't be 2, 3, 5 anymore. So it must be a 3, 7 pair. That gives us a 1 here, which is red. That's green. This becomes green, and that does, because and that does, because they see 1 and 9. Um... Ah, and this has become green. Let, hang on, let me just do these fixes seven in that box. This is a six. So this cage contains four, six, seven. A number that I know makes 17 from a puzzle I remember incredibly well. Um, a Japanese sums that used tons of 17s in it. Brilliant puzzle. Anyway, 389 there. This is a 2-5 pair. Now, these are green. So, I think this has to be in the sandwich now, this green cell. In row 3, it does. It does, it does, it does. What does that mean? I think it must mean something. Right, it means there is a crust above it, which must be a 1. And therefore, the 9 is the number in the cage. 
Yes, the nine can't be here, or you'd have 15 plus another cell in the sandwich, which is not true. So that's not the nine. This is nine. Uh, might as well turn it red, and those all go green. Right, so... Oh, this is lovely, actually. Oh, hang on. Now, I've just worked out that this can't be a one with a nine here. Oh, yeah, okay, right. This can't be a one, and this is very clever. First of all, I'll explain why it couldn't be a one with a two-cell sandwich and a nine here, because the two-cell sandwich would be eight and seven. And now in this cage, you'd have a nine and either a seven or eight, and the cage would be broken already, given its total. Now, why couldn't you have a one here and a nine here, and these three cells being the sandwich adding up to 15? And this is rather lovely, I think. That's because not only would those three cells by sandwich add up to 15, these three cells by killer would add up to 15. And uh, they can't be the same. They can't both add up to 15, because if you subtract these two cells from the top 15, from the um, arsenic 50, no, from the rye 15, you get that number. And if you subtract the same two cells from the arsenic 15, you get that number, and they can't be the same. So because that and that can't both add up to 15, because those two numbers can't be the same, this cannot be a one. And we get the one, it's here. Those are all green now. Um, now, this can't be the nine. Oh, maybe it could. This can't be the nine because it sees a nine. So nine is in one of these two cells and not here. Um, oh, that's also not a one. So it's either three cells adding up to 15, but it actually could be four cells. This could be a two, three, four, six. Oh, in fact, of course, there's a nine in this 15 cage. So it must be nine, two, four, because it can't use a one. Oh, well, there we go. Right, this is a 924 cage. How did I not know that just instinctively? 924, so that's not a 4. This isn't a 2. Let's just do the Sudoku to see what that shows. Now, if this was a 9, oh, this can still work. You get 2, 4 and a 3, 6 pair. That's possible. If this is a 9, then these three add up to 15. Actually, there's a couple of ways they can do that, so I don't know, but 249 triple makes this a three. That's interesting. 249 triple now makes this a one, which makes this a nine. Um, so those are red. And now this is a two, right, so we've sorted it out. Nine here, that's also red, that's green. That's green. Uh, those are green. That's not a nine. That's green because it's four or five. Got two ones left to place in rows and columns that don't have sandwich clues. Don't know how to do that. But back here, two and four. This is now a three, six bear. I absolutely thought it wasn't going to be, but it is. Eight, seven there, three. Now, loads done at the bottom. Um, ah, this pair now. If that's eight, five, you get six, three, five, two, seven. If that's seven, six. Oh, it's still. Okay, can't resolve that yet, as far as I can see. Is that right? If this is seven, six, you get eight, three, five, two, four, but if it's eight, five, you get six, three. This is going to be a three either way. Yes, if that's eight, five, six there, three there. If it's seven, six, immediately three there. So that is a three. Wow, so that resolves this as a five, two pair. Seven, six, eight, 
four or eight five six no you can't have a five we've used five right that is six seven eight there and four here right oh not coping very well with this that's three or seven six in the column is there two has to be here in the box this is five eight or seven now there's probably only one way to make up 13 these two have to add up to 11 that's three and eight there we go and that's the last cage I really needed to investigate. Eight there, four, seven pair here. That makes this a six. That's going to sort out both of those 11 cages and the 22 cage. And now I think we can just finish off the puzzle, which has been excellent. Really, really nice interplay between the various constraints, in my opinion, here. Very clever stuff by Bremster and Randall. And a big pat on the back for them. Six, eight there. Five, seven pair there. I've, I've probably forgotten a sandwich clue somewhere. Hope not, because I'm just trying to do the rest by Sudoku. Three and six here. Ah, this eight has got resolved. Three, two and one. Right, and that tells me where the last two red cells are. And the last two green cells, there we go. One and five at the top here. Three and four, I can do them. Go back and do seven and four. And seven and five. And, uh, oh yes, I should have mentioned at the beginning, I've provided, look, the solution is correct because Bremster and Randall sent us a tiny URL link with the solution embedded within it. That's why there's a tiny URL version of the puzzle Hopefully, if you can't use that, you discovered we also posted an F puzzles version of the puzzle in which you could solve it. And that's really nice. It's a good piece of work. And it was the kind of antidote to yesterday I was looking for. So thank you, Bremster and Randall. A puzzle to, to entertain and to uh, tickle the grey cells, but not to keep us forever. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you again uh, tomorrow. Bye for now.